We've come to see the launch of SpaceX's next big rocket, the Falcon Heavy. This vehicle can create more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff and is capable of putting around 140,000 pounds into lower Earth orbit. That's more than twice the weight that any other rocket currently on the market can carry. So right now, the Falcon Heavy holds the title for the most powerful rocket in the world. I'm very excited about this launch because I think this is, uh, it's gonna really show that we can do giant rockets again. Most space uh, organizations, government or, or commercial, have set their sights too low. They've, they've really gotten built relatively small rockets. Um, and Falcon Heavy is the first time that there's, there's something that's arguably even in the super heavy class or somewhere between heavy and super heavy. And showing that you can launch a giant rocket and, and have it be commercially viable, uh, carry satellites, potentially carry people. Falcon Heavy is capable of actually taking a Dragon mission, taking people around the moon. Is there um, any update on that, by the way? <laughs> um, not yet. Not yet. Um, we're sort of debating whether to do that on Falcon Heavy or BFR. It will sort of depend on how well the BFR development's going as to whether we um, focus on BFR for um, deep space uh, uh, human flight mm -hmm. or whether we do that on Falcon Heavy. What do you see has been the biggest challenge for, for making this rocket fly? The biggest challenge of, of getting to the launch pad um, has been that we had to completely redesign the center core. Um, so the, the load going through the center core is much greater than would normally go through a Falcon 9 rocket. Um, each of the side boosters is um, putting in half a million pounds of, of, of thrust into the center core. So you have an incremental million pounds of, of force going through that center core, uh, which means we had to really redesign almost the entire stage. Um, all the way through the interstage, it ha had to be redesigned to strengthen it. Okay, well I have one more question, but I want to know what you're most excited about when you've launched this rocket fly tomorrow. Yeah, I'd be really proud of the SpaceX team for having accomplished this incredible task. Um, and, um, and hopefully we inspire the public to get excited about space again. But it's not just the public getting excited about the Falcon Heavy. Some customers, like the Planetary Society, are planning on using Falcon Heavy for their next flights, hoping that a successful test launch will spell success for their missions as well. We are tied to SpaceX. We wish us the best today. <laughs> so the guy, you know, SpaceX is really visionary, but it really is a, a fantastic idea. You, uh, rockets should be like airplanes, where you, you don't throw them away, use them and then reuse them. And so it's, it's, uh, it's visionary. Now, if, all, if everything goes well today, how will it feel to see that Falcon Heavy oh, soar? Oh, it'll be great. <laughs> no, so, you know, we flew the first light sail uh, almost two years ago. And it's just, it's a thrill. We're very excited about it. And the idea is to democratize space, to lower the cost of getting to many destinations in our solar system. And the reason you do this, everybody, the reason a society does this, there are two questions, Lauren, that we have all asked. Where did we come from? Where did we come, how did we all get here? Where did we come from? And are we alone in the universe? And if you want to answer those two questions, you have to explore space. Finally here at NASA's press site after all of the hype, after so many years of waiting, and it is intense. I've been to a couple of launches here before, but I've never seen it this packed. Just getting in here today, there was a huge traffic jam. And the vibe here, everybody is super anxious. We're really ready to see this thing get off the ground. Originally, the launch was set for 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Then it got pushed back to 2, then 2.20, then 2.50. It turned out upper level winds in the area were too high for flight, and SpaceX was trying to wait for them to die down. And people started worrying that they'd have to come back the next day. 
So we've all been on edge today. SpaceX kept pushing the launch time back and back and back. And now we have a new T minus zero, which is 3.45 p.m., but our launch window only lasts until 4 p.m. However, the rocket is loaded with propellant, so I think it might actually go up today. Center core locks load complete. Chumbeck Laura has done its Chumbeck at 88.2 degrees. Falcon Heavy gas loads are complete. Heavy is configured for flight. T minus 15, stand by for total count. Launch direct on nine, eight, side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god! Oh, it's hitting us. Oh, it's hitting us. Keep rolling.